Oh, hello. I'm back. You don't know the drill. And everybody's talking. All right. So, I've installed a mod that will hopefully give me infinite item limit. Oh, yeah, look how sweet that is. Because I just think item limits are were made by someone who did not have any love in their life, you know? Like, it's just silly. Um, so... There's not much to do. The CUI really always traumatized me. I am curious about looking at... Um... The N7. Isn't this where I can experiment, guys? Where is it? I don't see it. Maybe I never had the research for it. Hold on. Let me go back. Research. Shit. Mm. I'm going to do it because, you know, I got a lot of points, you guys. Friends. I'm just curious how they'll look on me. So, I'll do a couple and then... Helmet, too, because I'm, I'm not sure. I would never actually use these, so I won't waste too many points. But we're okay. I have uh, most of the things I would need anyway. So, I won't be messing with that. So, we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. Yeah, I made. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Violate Anyone it. in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Okay, um, how about human? How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Cora? How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused or hurt. Mm, Suvi? Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. Liam? How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. Gil? Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. Hmm, non-human then. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Is PB alright? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. I thought she was going to say something else. <laughs> Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? I mean, I always say he doesn't need me, but sure. Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked. Thanks for the insight. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical Good convention in Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. How did he get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights, discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. So how did Asari doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. 
Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. This console reports on the militia's current strategy okay. and missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrone Candros for authorization to participate. Hello again, Ryder. Taking an interest in my strike team. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck. Kandros out. It's a creepy ghost. Sorry, I usually wouldn't do these, but, uh, I haven't, you know, edited them in a long time, or, um, you know, accepted the debriefings, and I forget what the use of them is, but, you know, I have some cool teams, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, yeah, they failed, well, whatever, alright, you can see my strike teams, we got Whiskey, they're my bros. They're my top babies. We got Golf. We got Delta. I like Delta. And Sierra. Uniform. Foxtrot. Um, and I can't have any more, so I have to retire somebody. I kind of feel like retiring. Um, do I have any that are duplicates? Does it matter? Xenophobe. Um, I'm going to retire, you bastards. So, if I get 200 mission funds, I can get more, but they're xenophobes. So, like, I had to fucking get rid of you. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. I love her so much. This was so fucking unfair in my original run. Realizing that Bioware had created my dream woman and, and yeah, it's a dark time, but it's a brighter time now, thanks to mods. Uh, so there's a so heart soft, there's a heart soft as rose petal under that here, something. Pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might, for certain someones. Good to know. We've all got our something. I forgot I didn't we lose for a lines. While. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place, even AI or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me 
that's okay. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Oh, Cora. I am using the mod on her. And the reason I selected it is because it's very slight. It just does retextures and I think it just enhances who Cora is versus, you know, makes her a different person, which some, some do. So I, I really loved that mod. I thought it was sweet. It gave her more prominent freckles and I just loved it. to engineering repeat rider to engineering <laughs> shit is this thing on pathfinder making the rounds slumming it huh want to see how the riffraff are making out hey this is the most important part of the ship whoa don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change i am at your command just want to see how things are going with the ship I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties, no real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omniblade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. Been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response, digging people out of trouble, that worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy Urban Search Terrain 1? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I'm not really sure if she's the nostalgic type. Probably not. I put it behind me after Dad's work went sour. It was a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. When that ended, well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. 
Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running for myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. You know, it's kind of funny because his whole story felt like it was incomplete. Maybe more than any of the other squad mates because... Like, to me, that seems like something you don't do if you have a good life, you know? I don't feel like, um, I don't know. It's strange. I feel like there was at least that I, maybe, I never finished his romance, but I had started it. So I'm not sure. It's just strange because, you know, he talks about his family, loved his family so much. And I just, I don't think I could leave my family knowing when I woke up, they'd all be dead. You know, that's a rough life. I feel like it's... <sighs> We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. But keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in crisis response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. The Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. I like her, but I don't want to lead her on, and I'm not going to romance her. Damn it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I know that my mod will, would allow me to technically romance everybody, but I don't like doing that. Like, I think two, a little less guilt. <laughs> Three, though. Although, honestly, her romance, two, there might be some glitches going on. I don't know. I should probably just stick with Cora, right? I don't know. Because I want the Cora romance. <sighs> we need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. She's so tall and pretty, though. I should it's track hard. down a lead for Gil's actuators. She was, um, channels, you know. the first person I romanced in this game. We'll chat later. Obviously. Too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who were you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent. Thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh, someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Everyone's tight on supplies. The Nexus is no exception. You think it's the same as being exiled? Life outside the Nexus ain't exactly friendly. So why did you leave? Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. 
Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Oh no, the mod didn't work. It was supposed to give me a cool old galaxy bed. But, didn't work. Hmm, somebody needs help. Knowledge. Cora, she can smell the vault. Tempest hacks, proud to be here. Liam, you're the boss. By your dad, Yang Yang. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. I would say this edition felt very much like, well, there's no Drell, so this is a thing now. Um, which... I don't know. Um. Did you hear anything about the Ark back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike Where your company, but it's lonely Korean without arc. other Solarians. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Solarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. I love Kalo. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. I mean, you can only say there's no higher power or I feel the same way. So, thanks. <laughs> there's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're created beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? I know I seem dismissive at first, but you have an interesting take on faith in science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I'd like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. If only Suvi had happened another place another time. And my already, um... 
invested heart. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do here? Let me check um, the equipment. Detected. Hmm. I do, um, I did install a mod that will make shorter times, hopefully. I hope. I'm trying to, like, speed up. Yeah, this might be faster, I don't know. Uh, familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. I'm picking up something. Yep. Yep, you are. Let's leave and go uh, do our stuff. Whoa. Oh. Oh, um, of course someone's gonna... What is going on? Hello? Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syak is Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. This is Herrick, one of the geek, uh, scientists from the tech lab. What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Don't. Don't shove. Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Going well, I hope? As well as it can go with limited resources, yeah. Tiny steps. Here we are, one young Pijak. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. But the planet was toxic. Pathfinder Rider, if you will. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. That could be a ship. Or even turbulence in the Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Ah, Pathfinder, the information you gathered is marvelous. You and your Sam, of course. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I work directly with Sam. Refining your field scans into discoveries to benefit the initiative, hopefully. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop, or lab, you know. You are always welcome. Indeed, 
It's thanks to your sterling data gathering that we were able to wrangle this space from Addison. Keep up the good work, champ. Champ? Just when I've balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air, food and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. I know what surprise, responsibility can be like. So I hear. Perhaps we could share our burdens. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return and my thanks. Flag, everyone. That's Pedrobos. Things are shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleepers ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? We came too close to not making it. I feel relief, but I wouldn't say good. Yeah, that's under there. Could have gone real bad. But it didn't. And that was you. I mean. Maybe some others. We're digging in. We got this. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry, Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Oh, another one! Damn it! This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry <sighs> lab. We'll keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and, and being nice. Aren't bartenders usually friendly? They're kind of hostile. I'm not supposed to be a bartender. I'm supposed to be a chemist. We'll get the Don't fuck out of here then. Off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't want to be here. I don't want your fucking dirty squirrel. Don't want it. Fine. Fine, I'll drink your dirty squirrel. There's no dancing capability here. Vortex. I wish it had upgraded. Like, I feel like a thing that would have been great if the Nexus had actually really upgraded over time. So... From like one to whatever, it really upgraded. It kept upgrading, you know? That would have been awesome. It's been amazing, but that's just an idea I have. And a lot of people seem to share. This is probably a combat list episode. Finder. Ryder, isn't it? 
Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Towns asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Town's looking for. Interested? If you don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. Like, I'm Great. sorry. Here's the thing. That is true. I don't feel like we always need to do better. However, I do feel like there were many risks going in. And if if it was presented as, like, always going to be a complete success, then yes. Obviously, we need to do better and it was our error. However, I do think that this probably wasn't, you know, what was anticipated. Pathfinder. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the common barrier ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend. A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Due respect, Director Tan, but you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, Alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eagle's Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. Uh -huh. but it will well, we could fucking the starve. Improved research could help feed our people. Can't, can't defend shit if we're dead. Day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Rider? Yeah. We have a on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. 
I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder. Ugh. Right. Ugh. Sometimes I just wanted more options to say yard. things. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Whole mood of the Nexus has changed since we are to contact Director Addison you really as soon as can possible. Feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Third time's a charm, if you happen to have a Pathfinder around. Can't always rely on luck. From here, it's hard work. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecker, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelet without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. How many times have I told you this storm? Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. You really did miss her while you were gone, huh? I really did. Cash can handle herself just fine, but it's still good to be nearby, just in case. What? How can we be out of those materials? I don't know. Ben's looking into it. Don't worry. I'll... Good job on the outpost. It's a weird Maybe noise. Madison will let you know. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. 
Why do you call Tan 8? Because he was 8th in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots defended my clan, so they left. You and know. The founder of the initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. So bummed over Jian, always. What happened to Jian Garson? We need more, killed if not for Jian. Disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Salarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Salarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. She's During so the cool. trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you use those 600 years to your advantage. Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4% which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Nothing more for now. Oh, uh, Cash. Gosh, we need another one, because no spoilers, but Cash, we'll see it at the end. Oh, maybe we won't, because I don't know if I'm making that choice. Um, if I don't make that choice, I will instruct people to watch a video that involves Cash later on because is she smiling creepily I thought she's smiling it's you you're the human pathfinder i'm sid betra's sister Hey. Told me all about you. Well, not all Apparently about she's like fucking important. 16. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you. <sighs> We're still not sure. There's a whole thing. What work do you do here? Oh, I just monitor Though, colonists. I don't think that's possible. Updates, hazards encountered. Note it down, pass on a report to Sean at the end of the day. Important job. I know. It's nice to hand in a report and have someone say I helped. I'll let you get back to work. It's funny because at one point someone on the team, maybe even her voice actor was like, oh, she's like 20, 21. And I was like, holy fuck. Ryder is so much younger than me. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to be old. What the heck did I write here? Well, not so much, Hello? but you know. Yeah, no. Davis Carr, Helios News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. HNS, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. 
now beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. Who pays for you to do this? Technically, HNS is an arm of the initiative, but we serve the public, not them. Sometimes the higher ups try and tell us what to broadcast, Tan especially, but we decide what to run and how to run it. It causes friction, but at least I can live with myself. I like you. You mean my friend. Okay. Were you a journalist back in the Milky Way? I was. Sort of. Only had a couple internships under my belt. Good places, though. The New Star Chronicle even sent me to Mars for a week. <gasps> the plan was just to <sighs> work as a reporter out here. And then the uprising happened. We got a little too close. My editor was killed. Tan blamed our broadcasts for stirring unrest. It was bullshit. Now all I want to do is keep going. It must be difficult to set up a broadcast from scratch. No, it's easy. Beyond I wish there was a better staff, angle for combos. And constant kind of, they're all kind of weird. Still, I'm That's weird. There. Whatever. They have an honest-to-goodness source in Nexus Security, if she ever calls me back. Who's your source? No journalist worth their salt will ever give that up. Hmm. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah. We're running Carrie's series. Carrie's yeah, romance is kind of like the. I'm gonna say well. Kelly. Content I want to say. King, and her content is really touching a nerve. I want to say Carrie's relationship is the most disappointing piece of shit I have ever encountered in my life. It is so bad. It is. I actually have that romance post on my channel too. If you want to watch it, it is horrible, horrible. Which is a shame because I didn't think I would like Carrie, but when I first played it, I was like, she's actually cute, and I didn't know what I was expecting. I knew it was a light romance, but it is like, let me just tell you, I don't remember any actual smoochy, smoochy. There's like a cutout, and and then it's and she says something that is so disturbing. It's just it's not a good situation. No. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over. The places we can't broadcast yet. <gasps> if I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planet? Book, yeah. I love doing, you know, far, stuff far like colonists. that. Okay, Davis, I'll help you get set up. I really do approve of this one. You're an outpost, and they'll get our report. This is like important. Like this is a task that I felt like was worthy because this is something we actually need. So we'll go to the planets and, and place the receiver on each one of them. I think that's great. Let's see. This is a nightmare. It's not fair. Hello, Marriott. It's not fair. What's Life wrong? isn't fair. Oh my, you're so it's true. A pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. And this is kind of a cool quest, too. Okay. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. You know, Please. I'm sure. Tell Milken I love him. Milken. Sounds like Milken. I wish his name was Milken. No? Sorry, I get bored with this stuff, but um, it's ultimately, I, I like to pick stuff up. I have learned, though, with the glitches, that you don't want to pick up a quest until you save first, and then pick it up and do it instantly, especially if it's on the Nexus, because I've had so many glitches where I could never complete it. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Hmm, that was worthily ah, praised. Our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Yeah, she told you her sob story. Milken, you're moving up in the world. 
There's a pathfinder wanted to chat with you. You're so weird as prisons. Where does pathfinder. he poop? <laughs> they called in the big guns. So this is just a real question. First murderer. And there's like no privacy, which is, you know, I get it. But like, where does he poop? Where does he sleep? But where does he poop? How do Turians poop? Hmm. I don't really want to know. It's just more of a question that I have thinking of this situation. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, mm. overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone um, said. also, my friend told me that apparently there's another way this can go. That even though I've played a bunch, I haven't experienced this direction. So I'm really interested to see how that happens. Because I didn't have that happen. I don't know. Hopefully you can make it happen because I think it's interesting. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement. Thought it was the cat and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. He better. Maybe he better. Yeah, give me access. He's glad to see you, Kandros. I hear you've God. been busy out there. That's one word for it. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Tyrion Arc. That's a personal the project. The arc? What about the Salarian Arc? A sorry Arc? Some indicate the Natanis was destroyed. Others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I spoke with Nilkin Renzis. He's so supportive. The man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty. It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. Oh, yeah. If there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you queue it up on the console Sorry. there. Sorry. We have the same name. As far name. as I'm concerned, this case is closed. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? Those air quotes. Andros family is old military. Can we get a gif of that? Or expectations, you know? Those air my quotes. sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate. Yeah, her the sculptor. I, I love it. I love references. Uh, when do I get so my vague. Adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You sound like you're in some very cliche movie. I like it. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and Oh, I want to get my well, firepower, my Apex mm. teams have you covered. Did I send them out? But that isn't news to you, right? <sighs> Are the other Turians managing okay? So so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn um, our citizenship, whatever galaxy. I like. think it's. it's I'm hard to focus pretty on sure that you can actually get this game free now through Nvidia. I, I saw something in an ad like, uh, if you download GeForce the GeForce Experience, yeah. So apparently you can get it for free or dirt cheap these days. What do you know about but, the enemies? You know, of course, I paid. We usually see them on the world with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. 
Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Good call. I was trying to pick up my... I'm playing Dragon Age Origins as well as this, sort of, but with more time on Origins because the new Dragon Age game won't come back for years. But um, I tried to play it before this, like yesterday, and um, I had graphical issues. <laughs> I don't know why, like, it's so old, it shouldn't struggle, but, it, like, everybody's armor flopped out, like, it was just all white, um, and shiny, and, uh, then I exited the door, and it crashed real bad, so, that's why I came back to this play, and it's probably better, because I, I should finish things, and, eh, I've already done the first three, I just wanted to do it, I don't know why I'm random, rambling about it now, but. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership, how did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those Ket found us. They His little eyes are so crinkly and mad. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war on the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. Yeah, I forgot familiar. that part of the story. Because he goes missing in the novel. Once the heat is on, um, all kinds of people rise Nexus Uprising. And, uh, and then we don't, I don't think we see him come back. No, maybe he comes back right at the end. I can't remember. Either way, uh, he was, you know, the second to Sloane Kelly, who Bye, Sloane Kendrick. is like my favorite. Which doesn't make me popular, apparently, because I love Sloane. But, mm, do you miss any small thing up here? I don't want to do that because, okay. I think I'm going to end it here, and um, I'll make sure. We need to visit Scott, but. These ones I'll keep shorter because it's a little wearing to just run around talking to people. It is what it is. But um, I'll catch you in the next one. Don't know how short this one was, but like, subscribe. I'm going to try to be steady about putting out this, uh, these episodes. So see you in the next one. Bye.